This podcast is brought to you by India Knowledge at Wharton. Please visit knowledge.wharton.upenn.edu slash India for more information. India Imagine was the theme of the 2008 Wharton India Economic Forum that was held in Philadelphia recently. The day-long event attracted several leaders including APJ Abdul Kalam, former president of India, as well as CEOs of Indian companies, nonprofit groups, consulting, and private equity firms. Indian Knowledge at Wharton brings you one-on-one conversations with these leaders. Today we are speaking with Sri Rajan, who is partner and head of the private equity practice at Bain & Company. Sri, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, first question, has the U.S. financial crisis affected the private equity investment uh, industry in India? So I think the way the impact uh, is happening is primarily because of the fact that in India, the stock market has also been impacted. The private equity uh, industry is looking at what's happening in India very closely because valuations have come down in the last couple of months. And what they're hoping is that at some point of time that these down, these, uh, this downward trend in valuations will have an impact in terms of the attractiveness of some of these assets. So my perspective is that we haven't seen an increased amount of deal flow yet, and it, we haven't seen the impact on valuations yet on Indian companies. But my perspective is that over the course of the next two or three months, we will see that impact. And my perspective is that we will see a lot more deal flow that will happen with private equity firms in India. Is that very similar to what you think might happen in, in other emerging markets as well, like China? I think it will. I think the one big difference between India and other emerging markets like China is that over the last three or four years, there's been a significant amount of activity that's happened in the private equity industry in India. And that's not true for China. So in terms of both volume and in terms of the quantity of private equity uh, money that's been put to, put to use in India, it's been far higher than China. And I think given that, I think that's the one basic difference uh, that I think will lead to increased deal flow in China, even in, in India, I'm sorry, compared even to China. Mm-hmm. Uh, what in India would you say are the most attractive sectors for investment at the present time? I think if you look at the trend over the course of the last three or four years, in 2004, 2005, the most attractive sectors were the IT sector, so IT companies, BPO companies, and so on. In 2007, the most attractive sector was real estate and infrastructure. That's where the bulk of the money went in. It's a little difficult to predict what will happen given what's going on with valuations. My sense is that we will see a lot of activity across all sectors uh, if valuations stick to where they are. So my sense is we're going to see a lot more activity in manufacturing, which we haven't seen a lot of over the course of the last few years. I think India is becoming a manufacturing hub for a lot of of subsectors. And so given that, I think there will be a lot more deals that will happen in manufacturing than what we've seen. And my sense is that services will come back as well. As valuations of services companies also become more attractive, I think we'll see a lot more deal flow over there. In, uh, in, in making investments or actually evaluating investments in emerging markets like India, uh, what kinds of attributes should, should uh, companies or firms be looking for? The, the challenge with doing investments in India, especially private equity investments in India, is that you have to look at both the macro picture as well as the company very carefully. And in many instances, that information is not available very readily, or not as readily readily as you might, uh, it might be in, in, in the United States, for example. And so one of the things that private equity firms have to do is to really understand the macro picture, understand what the trends are, but more importantly, have a very good sense about the quality of the asset, the quality of the company that they're buying both from a financial perspective, but also from the quality of a management team perspective. And I think those are actually very important things that uh, are as important as things like accounting diligence, as legal diligence, for example, are as important as that, that a a private equity firm should look for. Hmm. And uh, and also, one issue that comes up, I think, for private equity in in any market is finding the right people to to run things. Mm -hmm. And in India, it seems like that's especially an issue. Um, Is that... is that, the, is that issue likely to, to get worse, or do you think that that would get better? I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. I think what's happening is that over the course of the last couple of years especially, 
there's a lot of money that's come to India. There are a lot of funds that are shutting, start setting up shop in India. I don't think that's going to come down. I think we're going to see many more funds that have not yet had an office or set up an office in India that are looking to set up a presence over, over there. And so I think there's going to be a lot more uh, there's going to be a lot more difficulty in terms of getting talent, especially one that understands what the private equity landscape is like in India and how to de how to do deals over there. Uh, so my sense is it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. What do you think it would take to make it better? I, I'm not sure that there is a fix, so to speak. I think uh, there are a lot of people who are moving from other parts of the world to India, people who have experience in terms of doing private equity deals, whether it's in New York or London or Hong Kong. And so those people have the private equity experience. I think the challenge is those same people now need to come to India and develop the relationships that are necessary to make private equity deals happen. That I think will take time. So my sense is I'm not entirely sure there's much of a, a quick fix. Uh, I think we're going to have to wait this one out for the next year or so. Hmm. And, and aside from the, the, the larger market shocks that have been taking up all the headlines, what kinds of trends do you see uh, taking place in, in private equity in general? Well, one of the things that, um, that the private equity, equity industry is concerned about, apart from valuations, has really been the regulatory framework within India. And so far, the private equity industry has been an unregulated industry for the most part. I think the government has started making noises about potentially controlling uh, flows into India. I'm not entirely sure where that will go, but that's certainly one concern. The second concern really is the access to domestic debt markets. Uh, th uh, in India, it's very difficult to access domestic debt to do buyouts, for example. And so what a lot of private equity funds do is to set up offshore vehicles to do that. I think the debt market has to be developed a lot more for private equity funds to access that. Uh, I don't know when that will happen. Uh, I think it's a matter of time. It's a question of when, not if. Uh, but I would say those are the two, two issues that private equity firms need to, need to think about. And, and looking a little bit ahead, what sort of opportunities do you see uh, coming up on the horizon? I think the opportunities are actually uh, very large in India. And I say this because I think the opportunities exist in almost every sector. Uh, we just heard a panel on infrastructure that talked about the need for a trillion dollars over the course of the next 10 years. So I think in terms of opportunity, there's clearly a lot, of, a lot that exists, whether you're talking about infrastructure, you're talking about real estate. There's a lot of build out that needs to, needs to happen in India, whether you're talking about uh, services companies or manufacturing companies. I think the need for capital exists. So I'm, I'm actually not, not at all concerned about the opportunity that might, that, uh, that might exist in India. I think what the private equity firms have to come in and show to the Indian companies is the value that they will bring. And the value that they bring is not just capital. It has to be far more than that. It has to be expertise. It has to be the ability to increase or improve governance practices and so on. And in my mind, those are the things that will really differentiate private equity firms one from another. I don't really think there's an issue of opportunity at all. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. For more information, please visit knowledge.wharton.upenn.edu/india.